What is up, everybody? Welcome to week four of the NFL season and the FanDuel Hurry Up. I am Brandon Gadola. I'm the managing editor at numberfire.com. And I'm going to be breaking down my three favorite stacks for the week four main slate. Uh, the stack I'm going to start with is a pretty obvious one, but that's okay. There are always other leverage opportunities on a full slate, but it's going to be Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill. For the Chiefs, we've seen good outings from Mahomes this season. He has at least 24.9 Fandle points in all three games, but Tyreek Hill has had two straight down weeks. That's not all just variants. He's had just 11 targets for 70 yards, just one downfield target since week two, uh, but the Chiefs are at one and two on the season. They need a win this week. Hill cannot be limited forever. While the Eagles do raid out well against the deep ball, they've faced no competition quite like this in Dallas beat them early and often in week three. So I'm in on the stack, which unsurprisingly has the best 90th percentile score in my simulations. And even accounting for salary, they are second. My second stack of the week takes me to a first time around divisional matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers. The total is 50 points according to FanDuel Sportsbook. And it's always easy to sell us on Russell Wilson. He's been quite efficient this uh, this this season so far. I'd love to see a little bit more rushing than what he's been giving us, but he also has inherent added value as a stack candidate because we know where the ball is going. DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett account for 56% of Seattle's targets and 80% of their air yards right now. That's what you need when trying to hit stacks. Metcalf hasn't flashed as much as Lockett, but actually has a better uh, overall role based on the underlying data. He's got a 30% target share. Uh, Wilson's undersalaried here. So I'll gladly go back to the Seattle offense for a Fandle stack for week four. And then I'm going back to that Chiefs game on the other side of the ball with Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith, while Smith's salary remains under 6,000. Smith's just one of six receivers in the NFL to have run at least 90% of his team's routes in healthy games while maintaining at least a 20% target share a 40% air yard share, and at least two downfield targets per game. That combination of volume and leverage can lead to a big outing when it all clicks, and they're playing at home, which is generally when we see these high dot receivers pay off. As for Hertz, he is playing to the opponent expectation so far in terms of efficiency, but he's also averaging just shy of nine carries and 60 rushing yards per game. That adds a ton of value to his salary of 7900 Against the Chiefs, he should be running plenty when he's dropping back, scrambling, uh, making a lot of plays, uh, and that's going to flow primarily through Devontae Smith. That'll do it for my favorite NFL stacks. Best of luck in week four. Let's double dip on those touchdown passes on Sunday.